All right, guys, welcome to the Bedrock Dojo with it, Sukamodo. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, good to have you here. I don't know that I'll be keeping that little intro deal, but I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys an update where we're at, what we're doing. New series for you guys uh this is gonna be the bedrock dojo playlist yes sir it is and we're starting here with uh i don't even know what update we're on i did just update minecraft i'm obviously uh or maybe not so obviously to some of you guys but i'm on nintendo switch i just backed up my uh my data here when I, and uh, i probably should have done that before uh i did the update there but uh Let's see. What will it tell me here? Or just tell me that just tell me that it's up to date. You, okay. Anyhow. Um, so yeah. Uh hold on, hold on. Did I miss it? Uh no, that's not that's not it. No, that uh, I kinda thought maybe it'd tell me in there. Well, it won't. It don't. It won't. It don't. Okay. We're going to do this together. We're going to see how's it goes. Um, new update. I heard there was some, a uh, few little buggy bugs, a few little glitchy glitch here and there. But uh, with the crafting menu, uh, I believe for one, um, see if I can, in some changes up here, I heard about there's the dressing room. I wonder, I wonder. I do wonder. Is it going to load me in? Okay, it's going to tell me. Fix some crashes. I want, I hadn't been in. I hadn't been in since the uh since the hot fix. Um actually uh since whatever it was that came out before the hot fix. Um uh as soon as they told me there was some things going on, uh you know, uh, I heard, I don't know who it was online, uh, one of those really awesome YouTuber dudes. Uh, oh, wow, look at this background. What, what's going on? Okay. So they fixed some issues. Um, they even said fixed the looting enchantment not being applied uh, uh, to the Trident. Trident killer. I know people were upset about that. Hey, I'm saying okay. Hey, it got my character over there. Looking good, guy. Looking good. Got all my stuff loaded in. Okay. Let's roll. Let's just get right into it. I wanted to do this fresh so you guys could really understand. What's this, the achievements? Okay. Yeah, let's get that out of the way. I do have those. Not that it's the, the worst thing in the world to try to do. Some of those things were a little bit of a pain, but... I even got those those new guys there. All right, let's get into it. Um, again, I think it's pretty awesome what they got in that background back there. I want you guys to see here that I hadn't been in here in a while. So what I do is uh, eventually, after I actually got all the achievements, and I believe this was after, uh, may have been after I completed the game totally, like had all the achievements and everything, um, I created a creative world to kind of do some different ideas that I had. I just wanted to kind of see if, how they would work out and things of that nature. I do recommend that. Uh, but I've had this world here, as you can see from the source of the, the file, uh, size there, I've had this world for a very long time. It's the only world I ever had, uh, on here. And, uh, eventually I decided, oh, I started need to make copies of it here and there just to have in case something happened to this one. Uh, and then, like I said, once I finished the game, I created a creative world. That was kind of my prize for getting all the achievements and doing everything I needed to do. Um, so uh, that's just an idea for you guys. Uh, if if you, uh, wow, that's just a, such a cool uh, background back there. That's just an idea for you guys if you uh, just getting started out anyways. Um, I, I just kind of like to have, uh, that one file that I work off of and just assume that I can just go anywhere in that world 
and uh, create new things if I need to. Now, um, you guys are going to have to bear with me. Ah, it's been a while since I've played. Uh, it's been a while, right? You guys just saw the, uh, um, the date on there. It was back in like June, uh, July, right? This is a little tree house. I do remember making this swirly down, but I think that's not the best way to go up and down. Got me a bed up here. There's nothing really to see up here. Different kind of leaves and things I put in here. We're actually inside of a tree. Do do do, right? <laughs> uh and this is we're not far our objective today uh is to get back to world spawn believe it or not but i thought i was further away than world from my world spawn than i actually am um okay let me i'm just trying to remember And this is how you go through that. This is how you, you're going to use your stuff here. Okay. Place stuff down this way. I literally am. <laughs> literally am having to do that. I don't, I'm not trying to show off too much of the world right now, but this is uh, one of the last builds I, I did. It's just a big old tree. Got a little waterfall coming out of it. Um, but this village over here, all that, it is the first village that I ever encountered. And I, that's got some stories behind it, but uh, for another day. Uh, but for, for today... We're going to uh, start back over at uh, World Spawn. And that's how that's kind of where I want to start us from. Get over there. And uh, actually, you guys are going to get to see me get back comfortable with this game. Because, obviously, I'm just kind of fumbling around at this point. Um okay there we go i was trying to figure out how to run earlier I, um so again i want i got a i'm on the nintendo switch but uh got a pro controller that's probably part of what's going on when i was last playing minecraft i was playing in handheld i hadn't really played a whole lot uh with the pro controller in minecraft uh this path is something i eventually did um to get me over here toward the spawn location the spawn uh world spawn uh is a you know you hope to not really have to be over here much this must be my actual tower that must be actually close to where i actually spawn in at if i die which i've died several times I think the first time i died oh he's candy oh he's candy um first time first time i died i think it was silverfish or something i, I don't really remember I, i've fallen and died uh, i've done everything this is uh recommend highly recommend um if you don't find if you don't what the, what the true recommendation is mark this thing when you spawn in you start a world mark it some kind of way this is probably not the best mark because it can get destroyed uh uh i would imagine but um find some way to mark your your location there um and also people uh leave some items for themselves around their world spawn um i got a few items in here probably some building things some food some maybe some weapons and things like that some other building materials and whatnot i got an inner chest in here okay that's cool um and some extra now i always try to have two beds so sometimes i play with my daughter uh, and I always like to have a map because here on bedrock you really have to have these maps in here if you want to the green specs uh, So you can kind of know where you're at what you got going on um, I, I do I got mending on everything and pretty decent little setup for me anyhow up there This inventory is looking major full right now. Uh, I guess this is from uh, from building um 
I don't know why I keep using the crouch button for jump. I actually, I have another portal here. Uh, it connects to another hub. Uh, but this is this is it. This is where I spawned in. This is where I started the game. And I, I was, uh, I had played um, Minecraft a little bit with my daughter, and uh, she didn't have any ice, uh, any ice type cold biomes nearby. And so when I spawned in here, um, I, that was something I was like, oh wow, you know, we, you know, she was like, oh wow, uh, you got the ice stuff, and so I kept it. Um, and I've been playing. There's no other special reason uh, uh, that I kept this. I didn't look this uh, world seed up or anything. Now the world seed. If you if you just get started and for some reason uh, you just travel and don't mark your your world spawn and, and later on you need to get back to it. Um, you uh, definitely gonna need to at least know your seed and you can find your seed on the switch relatively easy yep guys so from the main menu you're just gonna go into your world go over to this pencil here uh, this is gonna be your settings menu uh, you're gonna scroll down in your game and there to the right uh, you can see my seed one three four eight eight zero zero three six six. Okay, so again, just shoot over to the right down, and there you are. Okay, now you can see uh, my settings in here too. By the way, since we're in here, uh, ooh, there's the new stuff. Uh, but anyways, st uh, don't have any cheats on. Uh, pretty much when when they say vanilla, that, my stuff is truly vanilla. So. Uh, any rate, uh, any rate, uh, back to the, back to what we got going now in, in game, you have, uh, you can use access this menu with the plus on Nintendo. Okay. So you can use the plus, get to this menu, check your seed. Uh, but we're going to need that for the chump base. All right, let's get back to it. I don't even know if I got room for any of this stuff right here. I was just trying to clear out some, you know, that's going to aggravate me. Um, I have to go run and grab those things later. So you're going to basically, you'll be able to use a, a chunk base. So in chunk base, you're basically going to be finding this bad boy. Uh, yep, here we go. Just type in something like chunk base biome finder. All right. You're going to find this. Uh, the seed map works really well. Okay. Uh, just click on that and you'll load up into something like this sorry to got my seed in here because i've been in here before but i do need to correct my version it's waiting for google analytics to tell me what ad i need yep 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 here we go anyhow let's get the right version here latest versions are right at the top you can put any you know if you're in java or whatever you got going on you want the overworld okay it's going to populate i i go ahead you got to expand this to be able to deselect everything it's going to swipe everything away here but you can go back add your biome here's how we're going to find our, our, our spawn okay let's throw this on just to show you guys that but anything you click on it's going to add it onto the map. It's load the map in for you. But this right here is why you need to know your seed. Uh, if for some reason you lose your spawn point. But I'm, I'm advising you guys, if you're just starting, uh, mark your spawn point. And then write it down. Just write down your coordinates right when you get in. Okay. Uh, and if you need help, you can probably look up uh, how to set your coordinates on. Uh, but maybe I'll do that at some point too. If any of you guys got a question about how to get your coordinates to show on the screen like I, like I have, uh, then then let me know but when you get in here to chunk base just click on it it'll give you a general general location for your spawn and then you kind of head there uh, and that should do it that should do it easy enough uh chunk base okay chunkbase.com and the seed map they got all kind of other stuff in here you can check out too but it's not a promo vid for them so let's get back to it Now, once you do that, um, 
you come back in and and, and here's uh you know you're gonna have to take a track <laughs> and find it you see uh as i moved evidently i'm going east west here and i think as you increase uh that first number now i'm going west the increase goes east so from 50s going to the 60s okay 64 is my height right how far okay now i'm 65 you see that um and uh north south i believe is that negative uh 10 number there as you go uh further south the number should increase let's get out of negative so you can tell some people have a hard time with that almost like maybe maybe some somebody is me <laughs> but uh see i see i'm increasing i'm in the 20s now so that's i'm headed south that okay okay yeah so messing up here um at any rate gang uh that's all we really wanted to do i'm sorry this is going to be a short well i guess maybe it's kind of good right short get this get a get a nice episode out of the way well uh not sure what we'll get into next time quite yet um i'm kind of going to walk you through how i ended up building my world uh kind of what i did uh and we're we're again well, this is the bedrock dojo so i uh we're learning together here uh i'm gonna i've had a pretty good time off from this game so um i'm gonna kind of take it as uh you know a tutorial for maybe some people that are just just kind of starting out um not gonna wow this guy not gonna um try to go all all pro or be outside of what my capabilities are or anything like that but i think there's people out there that, that may just be getting started in minecraft and uh want to follow somebody uh that's doing it uh right now uh um uh, they can log on and kind of just follow uh, where where we're at. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tour. This is a pretty big world. We're going to tour the entire world, and then we're going to um, we're going to come on uh, back. We're going to create a plan. Uh, we're going to create a plan to then um, connect uh, this world, bits and pieces of this world. Um, uh, together so we're gonna see how that goes uh, I think we're gonna try to do some so a little bit bigger projects eventually like I say connect uh, what does that mean that means I can't sleep um, connect things together uh, in a major way maybe some bridges maybe some uh, uh, I'm not really sure uh, so I, I really would like some feedback from from others i was like hey you know what would look really good right here is if you did this or that um now this little starter house that i put here um it's hey, i thought those guys were glowing they're not but ink uh regular inks is pretty good too oh there's a glow guy there's that guy too oh yeah okay my bad do not have uh the best gear be trying to do this whoa and there's lots of them oh there we go <laughs> i don't want to die here um hey seriously all right guys anyways i'll fix that but we'll be back uh next time we'll start over here at this spawn location i'll kind of walk you guys through everything that we've done in the world so far and uh then i'm gonna try to get you guys to kind of help me devise a plan um to go forward with from there okay all right uh, we will see you next time, guys.